taking our buckler and integrating it in the who bud. Instead of using our live hand the way we normally do in who bud, we all know this drill. We've done it a billion times in a billion places. We love it. We love who bud. So we're going to take the buckler and use it instead of our live hand. The exact same thing happens, except instead of catching it on the outside, like we do when we're empty handed, we're going to catch that first strike on the inside of his arm. We're going to go here, 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 and strike. See, it's pretty simplistic, but remember, every single strike is not going to be gentle. You are going to be striking this limb with this very hard shield, using these edges to hit those bones, those nerve points, that hand. You can even feed it into the face if you need to. Now, this is what we would do if we were in very close. When you expand out to Largo range, the use of the shield becomes different. But in here, at this Medio into Corto range, we just replace all of our live hand movements with the shield, and it becomes like wearing a set of brass knuckles. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to integrate the shield into our sombrata. It's pretty simple. The shield does everything your live hand does. You just do it with the shield. So he feeds me the angle one. We roof block. We clear. We come down. Now each of these checks, I'm stopping short of actually hitting him on the arm, but each of these movements would be a nerve strike, a hit against the bone with the edge of the shield. And uh, this will hit really hard. We see in a few paintings, we see a number of warriors with smaller shields. We don't have a lot of documentation on exactly how it was used, but this is a nice way that you can start integrating something like this in your FMA practice. 